Hey everyone, welcome back to Learn with Maktum. In this video, we will continue with our third standard EVS. Already we have completed two lessons. Yes, a day in the garden and green wealth. So we will continue with the next lesson, lesson number three, judgment of the owl. What is the lesson name? Judgment of the owl. Okay, so let's start the lesson. Lesson number three, judgment of the owl. So in this lesson, what we will be understanding, we will be understanding the differences between living beings and non-living things. And also we will see some of the similarities and differences between animals and plants. So even the lesson only now, Living things मते non living things के इतना कंता difference ना नोटे वे अधेरिति plants मते animals सस्य मतो प्राणी गले इतना कंता similarities मते difference बगी ये वंदो part दोगरे ना वो कली दे वे okay so ये वंदो part अदली story ना औरो वंदो मावी ना मरा मत्तु मन्नी ना डबर के जगह ना डिता रहते अदना अदर मुकांतरा explain मारे दारे okay so in this story they have explained using the argument between a mango tree and the soil okay to solve that argument there is one animal that is owl has came to solve and give the decision on that okay so let us read it and, and try to understand the lesson once there was an argument between a mango tree and the soil about who was greater their argument was very hot Hearing the noise, the cat, the monkey, the snake and the owl gathered there. Everyone requested the owl to decide the dispute. Okay, the owl cleared its throat and asked both of them to present their arguments. So what here they are telling? They are telling whatever has happened like there was an argument going on between a mango tree and the soil about who is greater? Yes. So, our ibber na dove yaro do do vanta argument na ditai rote. Our ibber do ondo jagala noor danta ha. Yalla prani kolo cat, monkey, snake, matya owl yalla al bartho. Band mele al irta kanta prani kolo yene rote wo owl ge niine yu ondo jagala na sol maadi anta hanta. Awa gaulo oki anta heli. Our ibber ge tam tam dar bagi heli ke awa kasha korta. So let us see what are the arguments so firstly the soil will tell without me where will be the mango without me it cannot take birth I give the mango its food and water so I am great so it is soil in her day nan il de mavin mara yel hutu te so nana di ke janma kodli ke help martin adiri te dik nano food and water korte ne so adhikin nanu great anta soil hulte ok then mango will reply what I give sweet fruits to everyone I give space to the birds to build their nest moreover I am also a living being so mango yana anta hulte nanu yellar iku see see yadanta handagal na korte ne adheri chunas likatli ke jaga korte ne अधेर इतनी नानु वंदु जीवन तब इर्तकंता उनो अदरे सॉइल के जीवा ही लान तादु मैंगो हरते सो ये ये वंदु आर्गुमेंटली आउल वंदु प्रश्न के होते मैंगो ट्री के ये न दु ओ मैंगो हाउ डू यू से दैट यू आर अ लिविंग बीइंग सो मैंगो सेड दैट इट इज अ लिविंग बीइंग सो आउल इज आस्किंग हाउ यू कैन so mango will reply saying look first of all I give birth to the same kind of trees secondly my seeds germinate into saplings and grow into plants later into big trees like me so this process we call it as reproduction kids okay whatever the mango seed this is called as reproduction in detail you will be learning in your higher classes don't worry about now so 
as of now you can only remember it as a reproduction it is a feature of living beings okay so here it is telling i will be giving birth to the new trees right my seed will grow into sapling first then it will become a small plant then that plant will grow into a big tree but the soil cannot do those things that's why i am a living being whereas mango is a non living okay then owl will say all right the soil cannot do the things you do but for your growth you need water and food where do you get them from so owl enutte howdu neen heldu sari ide soil you nella maadlikke barodilla aadre ninna belavanigige for your growth you need water and food right ellinda barutte ninige adu water and food anta keltade owl avage mango helutte i get them from the soil so nanu adna soil inda thagottene anta mango helutte owl helutte see you need the soil for your growth nodi illi ninige bekalla soil nin growth aaglikke anta owl heltadare aamel mango en helutte nodi but i get food from the leaves shed by me so nan enu leaves idevalla adrinda nange food barutte water ge ashte nanu soil do help thagottene anta mango helutte so here kids this one preparing the food by the leaves there is a process called as photosynthesis okay idr bagge nu niu munde nimma taragatiyo kalidiri so plants so tamma aharavanna taave tayarisukoltu aa process ge nantare photosynthesis okay plants will prepare their food by themselves using sunlight and also the uh, water and everything they will use and they will prepare their food that process is called as photosynthesis okay aga soil innutte but it comes through me only so adu kuda nannindane barutte anta soil helutte owl see we need both of you here no one is more or less important so owl innutte nodi namage ibru beku namage mango tree nu beku soil u beku ibru important anta helutade avaga squirrel helutte nodu squirrel one question kelutade owlige en anthe heli dear owl mango said that it is a living being what about the soil then so squirrel kelutte alli enanta mango en helutu adu living being anta so soil enanga adre so let's see owl's reply soil doesn't grow it doesn't need food so it is a non living thing so no soil grow agodilla hoda belkont hogudilla adike ahara bekagilla so adu enu non living thing anta owl helutade ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂಕಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳುತ್ತೆ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ವೈ ಡಿಡ್ ಯು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ನೀನು ಇಬ್ರು ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಎದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಬ್ರು ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಮಂಕಿ ಕೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅವಳು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಲುಕ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಮಂಕಿ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಏರ್ ದೆ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅ ವೈಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಲಿವ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಏರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ all will say no never howda so nam suttumuttlu naavu en nodtivri mannide neeride gaali ide alla avugal irlarde namage badaklik aagthada illa so avu kuda namage important anta avulu helutte okay so this is what the story is so here like mango was a living living thing whereas soil is a non living thing we need both of them to survive right without the non living we cannot survive without living we cannot survive both are very very important okay so here you can see two tables so living beings one empty table and non living things one empty table is there you need to fill out them so in the living beings you can write it down plants are living beings animals birds humans okay then non living things we have got air water soil table chair etc the list goes on okay now now we need to compare the pictures given here okay if you see here this was a small plant okay now it has grown right so here the plant has grown if you see the book any changes happened no right it has not grown yes it is the same only if you see here 
it was earlier it was small and now it has grown into a hen right earlier chick grown into hen and here chair any changes you have observed no it is the same only and here there was a child yes a baby child now become a big children right so if you see here by this we can say that living things grow non living things doesn't grow okay so you should remember this point living beings grow this is one of the characteristic living beings grow next here if you see a girl is having food yes and a boy is watering the plant yes and also here if you see these animals are also feeding right so all living beings need food understood all living beings need food okay and also here if you see you can see a mother and child right and also here if you see a small plant and tree and here if you see chicken chicken and also here if you can see cattle and cow yes so here if you, you are able to understand that we can able to reproduce right that is what one of the feature of living beings living beings give birth to young ones of the same kind so this is the point which i told as a reproduction that is what they give birth to young ones of the same kind and also here if you see this person is doing yoga and he is inhaling oxygen and living carbon dioxide right so yavaglu na usraduvaga oxygen na tugutevi carbon dioxide na horagade bidtevi hoda and also the same way with the animals as well okay so that is what is called as respiration living beings respire and now usraduvi non living things doesn't respire okay clear with this so you should be remembering plants and animals are living beings and coming to air water and soil those are non living things they are also essential for us to live okay now now there are some similarities between plants and animals for example both plants and animals respire right observe the pictures given below write the similarities in the space provided so you should observe these pictures and you should write the similarities so what is this first one first one is that both plants and animals can reproduce yes they will give birth to the young ones of the same kind how the ili you can see it has given a birth to a new plant here also it has given a birth to the new animal of the same kind okay next in the second set of picture what you, you what you observe both plants and animals need food and water and in the third picture both plants and animals grow so these are the some of the similarities between plants and animals hope you understood okay let's see the differences now so if you see here this animal can walk run yes but the plant is it going to run is it going to move no so that is the difference animals can move but plants cannot how the plants adadlik baruta illa animals adadabodu yes so animals can move but plants cannot next here no really if you nodidri ivella you know dogs you how the ivella naigalu if you see their color is different they are uh, like they look different also so there is some variation right if you see here plants all are green only right that is what is the point you should remember plants are green in color generally there are some other plants which are different color but those are exceptions okay but generally all plants are green in color okay kids understood so in this lesson we studied what are living things what are non living things differences between the plants and animals and also the similarities okay hope you understood okay let me give you the simple points to remember in this living beings grow all living beings need food 
living beings respire all living beings give birth to young ones of same kind yes animals can move but plants cannot generally all plants are green in color okay so these are the quick points which you can remember okay you can take a snap also if you want to have it okay so that's all kids so this completes the third lesson that is judgment of the owl so hope you understood if you are not understood go through once again and also read the lesson from your textbook okay so we are going to meet in the next video with the next lesson till then take care bye bye